Let's try to solve some double inequalities now. As I said earlier, all the inequalities may not have solution. Here is one which may not have a solution. And let's see how. You already know the process, process of doing this. Now when we have x's like this, then we really cannot eliminate this x because there are x's at two places. If I take away x, then we get introduce one there, right? So the only way to do it is to split this into two halves, right? So we will do that. We'll split it into two different halves and then solve them simultaneously and check for a common domain when the linear inequality is true. So one is we'll solve for minus 3x less than x plus 4. And the other one will say x plus 4 is less than 1. Correct. So if you solve for this, let's take this minus 3x on this side and you say 0 is less than 4x plus 4. And now we can take 4 on this side. So we say minus 4 is less than 4x or x is greater than minus 4 divided by 4 is minus 1. Okay, so let's solve the other one and also. So here we'll take 4 on the right side and we are left with x is less than 1 minus 4 which is minus 3. Now we got this solution for both the sides and we are looking for a common solution which could satisfy our equation. So let's see on a number line. So if I have a number line here and let's say this is my 0 then the solution says that my x is greater than minus 1. So let's say this is minus 1. So my x is on this side, right side of minus 1. On this, what is the solution here? The solution here is that x is less than minus 3. So we have minus 1 here and let's say minus 3 is here. So the solution here is that x is less than minus 3. That means on this side. Now, do we have anything common between the two? Well, this one is going from here to here and this one is going from here to here. There is nothing common. Therefore, we say that the solution does not exist. So, there is no solution to this inequality. Correct? Now, let's try the other one. So, same way, we will split it into two and see if we do have a solution here. So what are we going to do? We are going to write in this fashion. So we we'll say minus 10 less than 2x plus 4 minus 10 is less than 2x plus 4 and on this side we will solve for 2x plus 4 is less than x minus 2. Well here we can bring 4 this side so we get minus 14 is less than 2x and divide by 2 gives us minus 7 is less than x or x is greater than minus 7. Over here we can take away x and take away 4, correct? If we take away x we get 2x minus x which is x and then take away 4 we take away 4 from here and left with minus 2 minus 4 we get minus 6, correct? So this side solution is that x is less than minus 6 and on that side it is x is greater than minus 7. Let me show this on a number line. Now on a number line one solution is, let's say this is 0, one solution is x is less than minus 6. Let's say this is our minus 6. Less than minus 6 means like this. And the other solution is that x is greater than minus 7. So where is minus 7? Minus 7 is here. Greater than means this side. So here we have a common answer, correct? And that answer is between minus 7 and 6. Therefore the solution is from minus 7 to minus 6. Not including them since the inequality does not have equal to sign. Do you get it? So here we have a solution, but in this case we don't have a solution. 
So it is to make you realize that some inequalities may not have a solution. Okay? Thank you.